Hello students. In the earlier section, we discuss about the response of facultative anaerobes to anaerobiosis, where they, where we also discussed about the two component regulatory system, in which the first component is histidine kinase and the second component is response regulator. Today, we will discuss about the response of microorganisms to the limiting supply of inorganic phosphate. So this discussion is basically related with E. coli that has evolved a mechanism for the uptake of inorganic phosphate when its supply is limiting. And this mechanism is regulated by PHO Regulon. It involves a signaling system to induce the formation of phosphate assimilation pathway. And when the concentration of inorganic phosphate is low, E. coli stimulates the transcription of at least 38 genes involved in the phosphate assimilation. Now we know that the genes codes for the proteins and these proteins are involved in the uptake of inorganic phosphate at different levels. Some of the proteins forms the component of porine channels, porine channels which are present in the outer membrane of E. coli. Some proteins are present in the periplasmic space where they can bind to the inorganic phosphate and some proteins forms the channel in the cell membrane through which the proteins through which the inorganic phosphate can enter into the cytoplasm. Besides that there are certain proteins which are involved in the regulation as well as some proteins are involved in converting the organic phosphate into inorganic phosphate. So this is these are some of the genes which are expressed by this uh, 4 regulon. It includes the periplasmic alkaline phosphatase encoded by PHOA. PHOA acts as the gene for synthesis of periplasmic alkaline phosphatase. Then the outer membrane porine channels are synthesized by this PHOE. We know that purine channels are non-specific in the uptake of solute and they usually permits the hydrophilic molecules, small hydrophilic molecules and ions to enter into the periplasm. There is a high affinity inter, inner membrane phosphate uptake system that is known as PST system. This PST system involves several proteins. Particularly, there is a protein that is known as PSTS, which has very high affinity for the inorganic phosphate. And there are three proteins known as CAB, which have, uh, which forms the transmembrane channel. Whereas there is another protein that is known as PHOU. It is involved in the regulation of the phosphate transport. The two important component of this system is the histidine kinase and the response regulator which are regulate which are encoded by phob and the phor besides that there are 14 genes encoded by this system for the phosphonate uptake and its breakdown and there are uh, there is a gene for glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate uptake and gene encoding the uh, phosphodiesterase that hydrolyze the that hydrolyze the glyc um, glycerophosphoryl diester and these genes are encoded uh, uh, these, uh, these are encoded by the genes UGP, BAE, CQ. There is no need to remember about uh, the, these genes. You, you should remember about PHOA, PHOB and this PST system as well as the PHOB and PHOR. In the next video, we will uh, see the model for the uptake of this phosphate.